Hi Virgo, this is your love reading for the month of May. I know we're halfway through May already. I'm sorry, I was sick. Um, so we are going to do Virgo singles first, couples after. I will put a description in the description box below, a little link to where the couple starts if that's you. If you're somewhere in between, you might want to watch both. It's for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's also if you're spying on a Virgo, so let's get started. this but for those of you who um, don't know if you go to my website and there's like a link in the description box below you can sign up to win a free reading every month and so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style and so I just wanted to let you know okay that's it okay Virgo singles what elements of the past are affecting your current wishes in the month of May so they're saying you know what you've been through a lot of shit You've torn down some serious, like, ways of thinking, ways of being, like, expectations that you had with previous partners. You've been through some pretty dramatic relationships. And so now you're more reliant upon your intuition to know what is the right relationship, to know what is the best thing for you, to be attracted only to the people who serve your highest good. You're no longer paranoid about, like you know, potentially entering a bad relationship because you are able to spot it instantly and you don't play. So good. Um, why is it that you want the things that you want in regards to love in the month of May? And they're saying, you know what, you've been a little bit confused about what is the most important thing for you in regards to your love life. Like, what is the most important quality that I desire in a partner? Like, do I even want a partner? Like, why would I want a partner and how would they fit into my life and blah, blah, blah. But they're saying, you know, you're not doing this out of a place of sadness. You're doing this out of a place of goodness, like out of appreciation, out of the lessons that you learned. You're deciding like, okay, I only want somebody who makes my life better. Like, I really need emotional balance, and I've come a long way to come into this place where, like, my emotions are cool, I'm good with being single, but I'm also, like, you know, looking for somebody who's going to make my life better. I'm not going to settle for something less than that. And so your ideas between where what your emotional needs are and what your practical, like, grounded reality needs are are really super balanced. Like, you're only going to enter into relationships this month with people who um, – are going to have like a very strong foundation with you. Like they're like minded, you know, they want the same things that you want. Um, they're not completely the same as you, but like, the things that are important that need to be aligned, for example, um, if for if you wanted to find a partner that you would marry and have children with, like, are they the kind of parent that spanks and you're not or vice versa? Like, those are things that would be major issues down the road. And then you're thinking about these things now. And so you're only going to enter into stable partnerships where things can grow and get better continually over the years instead of deteriorating and falling apart. So good for you. Um, what can you expect in regards to your love life this month? Single Virgos. And they're saying, you know, this month you might not be attracting like um, one night stands, you know, passionate encounters, casual things. Um, they're saying anything is possible in regards to what it is that you attract. So if that's what you want, it might be a little bit challenging. However, it is possible. If you're wanting more than that, whatever it is that you want, it is totally possible. Um, they're just saying it's one of these months, though, where you might not meet the person that you're trying to draw in or attract, where it's like you're planting the seeds. Like you you placed your order and now you're waiting for it to be delivered. Okay? Um, so I wouldn't expect instant results. Um, but know that any work that you're doing in the manifestation realm, trying to draw in, you know, love, uh, that it is working for you. And I do want to mention, um, you know, everybody's got a different way that they want to try to draw in 
love and there are all sorts of different life hacks and and tricks in order to draw that in but one of them is um you can work on it when you're sleeping so if you haven't been to my website there's a little uh there's a little sleep track that you can listen to that'll help you to attract love as you sleep. Um, if you're interested, if not, whatever, fuck it. Okay, so what kind of factors will be influencing your love life this month? And it says, um, no, there, I want to see if that's you or somebody else. Okay, so somebody from your past that maybe you haven't entirely let go of yet, okay, um, they might be misleading you, they might be duping you, they might be trying to get away with something. If they are offering like, hey, I want to come back and I want to be like the best partner for you and it's going to be like fucking awesome and I'm going to be like so loving and caring and shit, it's not going to be balanced. You're still going to put more relationship um, energy and love and whatever into it. So they just want you to know that. Um, they're saying like you don't get to control how the other person acts. Okay, so what they say, you can believe it or not, but they're warning you, like, probably not. Um, but for the rest of you that that doesn't apply to, they're saying, the thing is, is there are some things that you're not really seeing or open to seeing or wanting to think about because they are challenging in regards to tying up loose ends. Um, so I guess... A lot of you do have some loose ends that you need to completely close and wrap up before you are able to fully walk into this next relationship that will be coming for you. Now, um, how are other people going to be perceiving you when you are out there looking to find love and romance? And it's saying they don't perceive you as bitchy at all. Okay, so that's awesome. Um, but they do perceive you as like thinking that maybe they are not a good match for you. Like, not in a bitchy way, but they're just, like, getting a vibe off of you. Like, you're not into them. Like, you don't like them. And that could very well be the case because you do have high standards and you're not going to settle for less than you want, especially this month. Um, but, like, some of them, they might be potentially good matches, but then they get this idea because you're so, like, classy and graceful. Even if you're not wealthy yourself, um, you kind of, like, emanate this vibe like you are, okay? Like, you have, a, you have a very royal sort of aura. Um, and so then people sometimes will be like, oh, my gosh, I'm probably not good enough for them. I'm not successful enough. I don't make enough money. Like, I'm blah, blah, blah. And it's not that they think you're a gold digger, but it's just more like, why would somebody so high class be with somebody so, like, basic as me, you know? And there's really not that much that you can do about that, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm not saying, like, dumb yourself down. I don't think that's a good idea. I think you can meet your vibrational match should you be open to that, and that's what you're trying to manifest. So um, what can get in the way of finding love and it's saying any disappointment or heartbreak from that asshole who keeps coming back and lying to you trying to tell you, like, you're going to live this awesome fantasy life. That's first and foremost. That must be very important for somebody here. Um, and for the rest of you, it's just like, you know, holding on to people just because you want to have something to focus on, something like, you know, sort of to the side that is easy and comfortable. A lot of you maybe just can't let go of somebody from the past. Um now, for the rest of you, maybe drinking too much, having too much fun, um, and then conversely, at the same time, working way too hard. It's like you're teetering between one or the other, and your balance is off. Like, So you might be like, work hard all week, no time to meet people, to talk to people, to try to grow relationships, and then on the weekend, you just like throw caution to the wind, and you just like party all weekend, and so... Um, We've got to find a better balance here in how we're going to go about trying to find a partner. Um, what is the best course of action or advice for you in order to find love in this month? And so it's saying, um, it, to be honest, we are not, remember that about yourself. Like if people think that you come off snobby, I don't necessarily get snobby is what it is, but if people are not, if they're like, oh, well, I didn't think you were going to be into me because, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, um, those are not your soulmate matches anyway. They don't meet your vibration. So who gives a shit? Don't get upset about it. They're like, really put no feeling into it because that doesn't serve you. It doesn't help you to draw in the things that you want because you want to be radiating at love or above anyway, right? Like those kind of people, nah weren't for you anyway. It was going to be a shit show relationship. So they're saying follow your gut instincts, trust your intuition, and um, follow the guidance of spirit. So like if all of a sudden for some weird ass reason you have 
this um, itch or like feeling like you need to show up somewhere that you don't usually go, follow it, do it. Because that could be the Archangel Thelio kind of trying to put you in the same place as your partner at the same time, like your future forever person. Um, Once you get there, it's going to be up to you to look around the room, maybe start a conversation with a stranger. But um, it's very important that you're following your gut instincts this month because they are spot on. Um, Taurus has a very similar energy. And so if you uh, have a lot of earth in your chart, um, this will be very, very important for you this month. Now, what happens if you don't follow this guidance? Well, you're going to end up alone. You really will. Or you're going to settle for, you know, somebody shitty less than what you deserve. Now, if you do follow the guidance in this reading, they're saying you can be feeling very, very confident, um, that what it, when you're looking out there into the world, you know, trying to find your love match outside of where you've been before, those people who aren't for your highest good in ways that you haven't yet tried, that you will be very, very successful. You'll end up in the kind of relationship, maybe not, you know, we already said it probably won't be in the month of May, but you're laying the groundwork to find somebody, you know, in the next coming months. I feel like for the majority of you, to be honest, it's going to be August or September, I don't know why, but that's how I read. So um, I'm just getting that clear cognizantly. But what um, what the point is, what was the point? Shit. <laughs> Sorry about it. Oh, so, so you'll end up in this kind of relationship that other people look at and they're like jealous of. Like not in a harsh or malicious way, but where it's like, I want that kind of relationship. Like that is like relationship, hashtag relationship goals. Okay. So really good for you. Now. Couple of Virgos, what is up in regards to May and how your past affects your love life now? Now, this could be past experiences with your current partner or past relationships that kind of affect this current relationship now. And it's saying, um, honesty is the best policy this month, focusing on the potentials of, you know, what good could come out of honest and direct communication as opposed to how it could all go wrong. They say you have to be proactive about this. You have to start conversations with your partner, even if you're worried about how they're going to take something. Taurus couples had a very sing similar um, energy this month. Now, why is it that you want the things that you want this month? And they're saying, you know, honestly, this isn't like a super intuitive thing. It's not like a very spiritual reason why you want the things that you want. However, um, you want to have a lot more fun this month. You need adventure. You need excitement. You need things that are silly and creative and almost like childlike joy. It's, you know, here in the United States, we're coming into summer and it's like totally the theme. So you want to make the most of your summer with your partner. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So what should you expect this month? Things are not going to... Um, probably change so much in your relationship from the way that they have been. And if they do, they will be changing very, very slowly. Now, um, those of you who are in a relationship that you are trying to leave, what is happening there? They say, you know what, ultimately, it's kind of more like unfavorable circumstances that are affecting the relationship and making you feel like you want to make an exit as opposed to like not having true love for each other. So your partner very well could turn the tide in your favor and you end up staying together um, by way of romantic shows or gestures. If they don't make those, well, you won't feel the same, but um, you'll, you'll feel the same and you want to exit. But these are things that you can talk about and ultimately you can work it out if that is you. If your relationship is more stable, they're saying, you know, expect that fun and exciting things will happen in your relationship, that you'll go cool places, that you'll discover new awesome things this month. Some of you don't actually believe that and you feel hopeless about it. And so guess what? You're going to divine that sort of um, reality for yourself. That's what you're going to manifest. So um, maybe speak to your partner about things that sound fun and are exciting to you, things that you want to try, new restaurants, new date places, you know, whatever, um, because they're likely to be amenable to that. Now, um, how is your partner perceiving you this month? And they're saying, you know, same as always, like you've always got your shit together. Somehow you have more and more responsibilities, but you keep it all balanced without getting super fucking emotional and, and stuff like that. They're saying like they can really see, um, it's like that, I don't know how many of you guys saw the Avengers movie, but you know Doctor Strange, how he can see like, you know, a, like a billion different um, realities that could transpire. Your partner's like that with you. Like limitless potential of the kind of relationship and joy and love that you guys could have. So awesome. That's so adorable. Everybody wants to be a Virgo now, huh? Um, 
what kind of other things might influence your relationship? And they're saying the general unhappiness that you have with trying to keep it all together, all these plates that you're spinning, um, could have some sort of a negative outcome on your relationship this month because it might make you a little bit moody. So um, just try to reward yourself, Be like a literal pat on the back, like I am doing a great job. I really am. I'm amazing. I do so much shit every day for everybody. I am fucking fantastic. <laughs> Remember that, okay? Um, positive affirmations, right? Now, um, what kind of things should you be doing or focusing on in May in order to grow more love into your relationship? And they're saying, you know, um, when your emotions start to feel a little bit negative, don't let it pull you like down into crazy town. They're saying because that's not who you are and your partner really certainly doesn't expect you to come off um, the way that you will. Like you're not a bitchy person, even when you're disappointed, even when you're not getting the things that you want. They're saying that um, you want to be thinking about all of these things related to stability, though, and talking about them with your partner, like the next steps. Are we going to move in together? Are we going to get married? How many children do you want to have? You know, like, um, should we continue to live here? Where do we ultimately want to retire? Um, let's talk about these purchases that we're going to make, these big decisions, like everything surrounding like money and stability. Those are things that you want to have and new opportunities could come through for you. They're saying it seems like a lot, but you definitely can balance it all. Um, so how are things going to go if you follow this guidance? And they're saying you will be very secure, very stable. Your relationship will be the same way and there will be a lot of joy and contentedness contentedness as a result. If you ignore this advice, though, they're saying um, ultimately you will have a very difficult time communicating what your truth is and even knowing what you think. Um, so there's something to the process of communicating with your partner that will help. They're saying um, you could expect to have like uh, a less fulfilling uh, sexual relationship with your partner this month if you're not able to communicate freely and to sort of plan for things in the future. They're saying like ultimately they might not want the same things that you do or maybe they don't want to do them as quickly um, but at least in talking to that you can save the sexual aspect of your relationship because at the end of the day you both want the same things it's just a matter of how you're going to go about getting it. So that is May and I will see you in June. Mwah! Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!